Hey, so what I wanted to talk about in today's video is the idea of advice because we are in a space, and I say we, I mean people who are in the, the manosphere, the, the men's self-help space, whatever you want to call it. We are in a space where we are inundated with information, with advice, with tips, techniques, tricks, etc., the whole damn time and it gets a little bit tiring particularly if like me you're on twitter particularly if you're unfortunate enough to be like me and a part of your income actually depends on being on twitter which is a bizarre thing to say but there you go then what you're going to find is you you are constantly bombarded with messages from content creators who have different views on how life should be lived and they want to Probably they want to sell you things, but also they want to sell you on their ideas. They want to sell you on their idea of how life should be and how you should be living it. And it struck me, and I've written an essay about this, which is going to come out on Friday on my website, realtryfrancis.com, that this can be very confusing, particularly for younger guys, particularly for guys who are maybe just coming into this and navigating through their own lives and trying to figure things out. Because... As has been said memorably before by people including Black Label Logic, you know, these days, if you type into a search engine, how do I date girls, then, you know, you're going to come up with a video of Roosh with a big beard uh, talking about, you know, living the monastic ascetic life or becoming, you know, a Mormon or, or becoming, you know, or, or going and living on a farm somewhere with no electricity and all the rest of it. And or it's about reading Hegel, or it's about lifting, or it's about all of this different stuff that gets discussed in our in our little sphere that, that seems to have nothing really to do with the, the core subject matter as it was, which was dating and how to conduct your interpersonal relationships. But, you know, and people will say, well, that's fine because it's grown and it's about different things now. And yeah, I accept that up to a point. But the difficulty, I think, is that you get people coming into this arena, particularly people who are quite young and who may be don't have that much experience, and they get driven along by people's ideas, again, not against their will, that would be the, the wrong thing to say, but they certainly get drawn along by other people's views in a way that perhaps they hadn't intended to when they came in. And the thing I think that we all need to bear in mind, and I'm con very conscious of this because I'm on both sides really of the fence with this, but the thing that people need to bear in mind is that content creators such as myself, you know, our whole business model relies on the fact that we put out regular content. So I'm putting out tweets the whole time, but I'm putting out blog posts, I'm putting out videos like this. I do some Instagram, I do my daily email to my email list, sign up below. Um, and I write my books and things. So I am putting out content the whole time. And a lot of that content is free. A lot of that content I just put online. And the reason I do that is, yes, it's to help people. Yes, oh, sorry about that. Yes, it's because I want to help to improve uh, guys' lives. But also because, you know, being honest, it, it keeps me front of mind. You know, the business model for the personal brand creator is to be front of mind, to keep putting out content that people like, because that way you build an audience and then you can get, you know, maybe sell them things and you can make, a, make money from it, make an income from it. And I've got no problem with that as a, as a business model. I mean, that is a business model. Not only is that my business model, but it's also a business model I've promoted because last year when I was writing a lot about personal brand, strategy and all of that stuff, um, I was actively pushing this idea of creating a personal brand to guys. And I still think it's a great, great idea if you want to make money. That wasn't going to happen. If you want to make money online, I think it's a fantastic way to, you know, uh, to go because you're building an audience, you're talking about things you love, you are putting out uh, content about things that you care about, and hopefully you're helping people into the bargain as well. Well, I need to sort out the filming on this, don't I? But next time, don't worry. Um, yeah, but the thing is, right, what people, I think, coming into the space sort of forget is that a lot of the content that's being put out, it's not, I'm not saying it's dishonest, I'm not saying people are trying to mislead you or anything like that, but certainly the, the context in which that content is being put out is that these guys, myself included, we need to be putting out content because that's how we build an audience. And so we are doing it in a way that is not divorced from a, uh, a financial reward. It's not, it's not divorced from commercial imperative, if you like. In fact, it's, it's intimately entwined with the commercial imperative to build up an audience. So 
what that tends to mean is that people will and, and people have to have something to talk about as well you know we have to have cons we have to you can't just come online and talk about nothing you have to have a subject matter so what people are going to talk about is what's closest to their heart and which is fine but they're probably, in order to be engaging, they're going to push it and they're going to make it more extreme than maybe they even are in real life. So you've got the player character who's going to be saying like, yeah, just go out and meet hundreds of girls and never settle down and blah, blah, blah. Even though in reality, in secret, he's got a girlfriend. Or you've got the dude who's coming from a trap perspective and he's going to say, no, get married at 21 and get a good woman for a wife and have 15 kids. Even though secretly he's messing around on the side or he's, you know, whatever. I'm not saying don't trust people. And, you know, if you don't trust me, that's absolutely fine. You know, don't consume my content and certainly don't buy my books because if you don't trust somebody, you shouldn't be actively be giving them money. You can only take people on what you see. You can only take people on what they put out there. But what I would counsel you to do is just to be aware why people are doing this. You know, they're putting out the videos, yes, to help you, but also to help themselves. And they are doing it because, you know, they've got a commercial interest in doing it. And you know, that means that they've got to present views in a way that is engaging and potentially a bit shocking as well, just to just to pull in the audience. And the, the really important thing to remember is that that content creator who's saying to you, yeah, get married, get a mortgage, get a job, blah, blah, blah. He's not going to be around if things go wrong. He's not going to be around to pay the bills or the alimony or, you know, pay for the mortgage if and when or, or you know, in the unfortunate event that things don't go the way that you want. So you really have to make your own decisions and where you have to make your own decisions from is a place of knowing yourself. And so what I would counsel guys to do as they come into this space, as they start to look for advice, not just in dating relationships, but also in terms of how to live a good life. I think first off, you need to have a very clear idea of what your idea of a good life is. Now, if that's getting married young and having a lot of children, then that's absolutely fine. If it's being a digital nomad and being able to travel around and go to different places, then that's fine too. But have a clear idea first, because otherwise, what I see happening all too often is guys getting swayed by the kind of flavor of the month idea that's going around at the moment. So suddenly it's like, oh my God, I've got to go and live in a farm in Arkansas because somebody said the possessions are um, are degenerate and sinful. You know, it's bullshit. I mean, you need to be clear of what you want for yourself. And then you need to find the content creators who have done something similar that can teach you what they did. And that's really it. You know, just be very wary of being pulled hither and thither by people who, who just have their own agenda. They just have their own desire, you know, their own interests at heart in these things. So really, I would only take advice from people who have something that you want. So I would seek those people out and I'd just be very careful, very wary of taking too much on board from others who don't. That's my thought for today. Anyway, my book, uh, Approach Her Like Chad, which is about killing your approach anxiety with beautiful girls, is going great guns on Amazon. It was a number one bestseller at the weekend. So click the link below. You can get that. Uh, you can also buy my uh, package of nine books, my digital download of nine books, which is called Renegade Dating Blueprint. The... Um, Link is also below and you should definitely be on my daily email list because that's 100% free and I give great tips and advice and techniques out five days a week on that. So get involved. The link is below. Speak soon. Bye bye.